All right, thank you very much for clicking on the video. This is Gold Pain, uh, just back with a quick review of this PSP game that I've been playing recently. And this is a uh, 50 cent bulletproof. This is actually the, the G unit edition. So this is the, for the PSP, they, um, they um, ported the game from uh, PlayStation 2 and Xbox and basically kind of made it a little bit different um, for the PSP and called it the G unit edition. So I remember playing the, um, the PS2 game and it was sort of like a behind the shoulder over, sorry, over the shoulder, over the shoulder sort of like a uh, action game, a uh, kind of 3D action adventure game. And then the PSP version, and I was expecting it to be something similar, but it's actually like a kind of a more like isometric kind of a view. They've done something similar with um, Army of Two as well, where the Army of Two game was like behind the shoulder, but then the PSP version was like a, I don't know, like Smash TV or kind of, it's not, it's not, it's not um, top down, but it's kind of like, that's not isometric either, but I suppose it is isometric, a 3D isometric um, uh, sort of a view. So this one was uh, developed by Genuine Games and published by Vivendi Universal Games. I haven't really heard much of them. And it, it was re this is a PSP exclusive. So I can't actually, um, I can't put the music on this game because it's all copyrighted and I would get, I would get a copyright strike um, from the awesome 50 Cent music. But um, yeah, so you're basically, you play as 50 Cent and... Uh, a lot of the 50 cents um friends or <laughs> 50 cents um other characters are here as well um and there's a lot of tony ao a lot of them are mentioned um in the game so you basically go around you can pick up different weapons and guns and uh, money and you can buy stuff uh, in a shop um th uh, in the um in the interval between levels so the first level just has you run around sort of a kind of an industrial area um kind of picking up weapons shooting guns and then you have to collect um, you have to collect items and then move on to the next stage and the next stage uh, and subsequent stages you're in like a kind of a theatre and then you're in the streets and uh, different stages it's um it's pretty fun actually the well it's just like mindless kind of mindless fun uh, it's funny when you kick the enemies to get, to get their to kick the downed enemies um, and to get their money off them and uh, different um, items and stuff as well so yeah it's um it is a it is a lot deeper um than because it's not really a like it's not a licensed game it's not like from a movie or something it's just like for fifty cent because fifty cent was unbelievably popular in the in the not in the um the early and mid noughties and even today I actually went to see fifty cent um live in uh twenty I think it was in twenty seventeen or twenty eighteen um just a few just like five years ago in um England and he was fantastic he was awesome um because I've I've liked fifty cent for years like since he first came out um his first album get richard die try and i used to i used to like clean my house with the album on so um excellent stuff but um yeah having a game of 50 cent was always going to be like guns you know violence weapons and kind of the street um so i kind of expected that going into the game but i didn't expect it to be kind of this involved with all the different um kind of kind of RP, well not RPG but yeah sort of, sort of RPG elements that are in the game and there's a, there's an economy in the game as well you know it's not just like one of those crappy kind of you know like here's the level and then you know nothing or like just like a not really that much story like just kind of a couple of still still screens with text on it and then the next level there is like a pretty good um you know a lot of effort put into the kind of the cinemas the um the cutscenes in this week which kind of add a lot to the game. They add a lot to games in general. I'm always disappointed when I get a game and the story is just like explained with text. You know, there's no extra uh, sort of like polish put on the game with like extra cutscenes or kind of, you know, a bit of depth with characters or some sort of like trope or something that um, that the games use to sort of make the, the game more enjoyable. Uh, this one does have those, which is, um, which is, uh, which is good to have. So, yeah, it's, it's pretty good, this game. It wouldn't be my favourite game on the PSP. But um, as a fifth as a as a fifty cent uh, game goes, uh, this one's pretty good, and it has the the music from Get Rich or Die Trying, just like the the PS two. It's uh, it's console console Big Brothers and Big Sisters, um, have the sort of the music when you're going around, uh, the stage. It has like uh, the music from Get Rich or Die Trying, um, or I think it does anyway. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it has a kind of a a remix version of it where like the the main uh, tune. Or the main chorus is being played and uh, that kind of repeats so it's not the full song but it's just kind of bits of the song but i really enjoyed it anyway and um yeah some of the characters in it are very good they're sort of super deformed as well 
or maybe they're just realistic i don't know but in the cutscenes, but um yeah i enjoyed it anyway pretty good game so if you've uh played 50 cent bulletproof g unit edition on the psp let me know in the comment section below and thanks for watching appreciate you watching the end and i'll see you in the next video adios